Hi guys, so first of all, Happy New Year. It is the first video that I'm making of 2013. I cannot even believe it's 2013, but it is. So I hope all of you guys had an amazing New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and um, a lovely holiday season. I did, I'm really sad it's over, but you know, new year, new start, fresh start, and it's gonna be great. So I'm very, very excited for what 2013 has to bring. I think it's gonna be an amazing year and I wish all of you guys a fabulous and fun 2013. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video called the Top 12 of 2012. You guys have probably seen a few of these videos um, lately because a lot of gurus have been doing this video because it's like there's a few different versions of it I feel like there's like three or four versions but it's all like your top yearly favorites I think these videos are really helpful and nice because you can see more what somebody used through a very long period of time more than just like a monthly favorites video where they might have only been loving it for a month or two this is just like really the top products like the best of the best and that's why I think these videos are fun to watch and that's why I'm going to be doing mine today. So as I said, there's a few versions of this tag that I've been going around, but the one that I'm going to be doing is the top 12 of 2012 and it was created by Sweet Beauty X, who's Emily, who is one of my best friends on YouTube. I love her so much. She just hit 60,000 subscribers, but you guys should go all subscribe to her. She is amazing and she deserves so many more subscribers than she has because she's funny, her videos are amazing. I'm very close with her and I think you guys will really like her. So I will have her linked down below. Definitely. Go check her out and subscribe and tell her that I sent you. So there are six different product categories for this tag, and the first one, they're all your, they're all two. Um, so there's six categories and there's two of each, so it comes out to 12 for 2012. So um, the first is your two favorite face products. So the first one will be no surprise if you guys have been watching me for a while. It is my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free foundation and this is in the shade classic ivory 10 um, I would honestly still be using this if it wasn't too dark for me this is the lightest shade and this is my favorite foundation of the year I started I found it I think in like May or June and I just fell in love with it I did a foundation routine with it I will go ahead and link that down below I also in that video used my beauty blender sponge a few of you guys have been asking me how I use that if you want to see how to use it you can check that video and I've told you guys many times before but the reason I love this foundation so much is because it doesn't clog your pores it's made for acne prone skin that is what I have I have struggled with acne forever but it's just something that I have to deal with so if you also struggle with your skin I would definitely recommend this foundation because it doesn't lead to clogged pores my next face product is something that I discovered I think over the summer as well I know I used it in my foundation routine video that again I'll have that link down below but it is my benefit Boing concealer and I love this I'm so 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 glad I found this look how much I've used of this guys I am I've hit pan so far and it's very hard to get the product around the edges so I really need to get a new one of these because it has been so so well loved and it's an amazing concealer I'm one of those people that really likes um, concealers in a pot I don't like liquid concealers because I have so much to conceal that that just takes too long for me I like to just be able to dip my finger in it and put it all over my spots I love it so much because it matches me I'm in the shade 01 I, I don't know how many shades there are on this there's not too many but 01 fits me perfectly which is really really great so if you're pale and you're looking for a concealer like that doesn't isn't orangey on you because that's such an issue for me check out this one by benefit boing it's fabulous this next category is your two favorite cheek products so my first one is benefit high beam I have just discovered I've been using this all year I've been using this for so so long I've had it for like over two years and this is just my favorite highlighter of all time I have a lot of highlighters but I always seem to just go back to this because it's so beautiful and I just put it right here I don't really highlight anywhere else on my face I know you can but I just like to highlight the tops of my cheekbones so that's why I included this in my top cheek products because it's amazing I actually don't think I'm wearing it today I don't know why I guess I just forgot to put it on now my next favorite cheek product is more of a brand than an actual color and it is the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes it's so hard to narrow down for me because blush is something that I really just switch it up every day and I don't really have a favorite blush in general I just go through like whatever I have because I have so many but this is a product that I've been using since the beginning of the year and just alternating them and loving them they stay on a very long time they're like 24 hour I think oh 12 hour blushes I lied 12 hour why would you need your blushes to stay on 24 hours anyway like come on 
But um, yeah, I don't have a favorite color, but they're just awesome. So definitely check them out. They are expensive, but they're very worth it. Now the next category is your top two eye products. So I know everyone and their mother has either chosen the a Naked Original Palette or the Naked 2 Palette for um, they're one of their favorite eye products or their favorite palette. Mine is actually not. I mean, I love my Naked palettes, but that's not the palette or the eyeshadow that I used most this year. Um, in my opinion. So my most used, one of my most used eye products, definitely my most used eyeshadow palette is my Inglot palette. Now I got this in April, so um, kind of more beginning of the year, and I have just used it ever since then. I don't use it every single day, but it's definitely my most used eye palette and my most reached for. It is amazing. I'm so glad that I made this. Inglot is amazing pigmented eyeshadows. It's very high quality and you should get it at iMats because it is very discounted. So if you're going to go to LA iMats in January or New York iMats in April, you will see me at both of them, but um, you should get an Inglot palette. But Inglot, I believe, should be at both of those, so definitely check it out. Um, these are weird. They don't have color names. They have numbers and mine are like on, on the back of all of these. So I'm really sorry. I always say when I talk Talk about this. I don't know the numbers, but they're just, I'm glad I made a neutral palette because it's just such an everyday perfect palette for me and it's amazing and this is what I have reached for since, as I said, when I made it in April. Now my second eye product, this was so hard to choose out of like eyeliners and mascaras and more eyeshadows and all the eye products that I have, but I decided on a mascara because I used this at the beginning of the year, took a break from it, and then recently have been using it again. And I I don't really repurchase mascara a lot, but I repurchased this one and I'm so glad I did. I talked about it in my December favorites, so I won't talk about it very much, but it is the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. So much better, 80,000 times better than the original Great Lash Mascara. It's so different, very lengthening, black, wet, and just a great separating lengthening mascara. I'm wearing it now and I'm obsessed with it. Next category is your favorite two lip products. And this year I really got into lipstick. I wasn't that much into lip stain or lip gloss at all especially recently I just I have not been wearing lip gloss in so so long I've been really into lipstick this year so my first one is again more of a product than a color it's the Revlon lip butters I think I have like 10 of them now I just keep repurchasing them because they are amazing they come in so many shades and they in my opinion are the best drugstore lip product maybe even best lip product I've ever found in general I'm wearing this one right now um, it is raspberry pie and it just looks like this it's a deep um, like magenta berry color yeah I don't know but I have so many of these and I love them they're moisturizing they give you really nice color and I'm sure you've heard so many people rave about these, so if you haven't tried them, they're so, so, so great. And my other favorite lip product is High End, and they're the Tarte Glamazon lipsticks. I got these, I think, in September, and since then, these have just become my absolute favorite lipsticks. The Revlon Lip Butters, I wouldn't call a lipstick. It's like a combination of a lipstick, lip balm, and lip gloss, but just a basic lipstick. These, the Tarte Glamazon ones, they are expensive, but they come in amazing shade range, and they stay on so long because... They're that like Amazonian clay thing. So this one is in the shade Inspired. I just feel like this is a nice color for everyone. It's like a nude pink. But I have so many of these that I love. I've talked about them in multiple favorites videos and they are just really, really great. Second to last category is nail polish. Now, you guys probably know for me, this was so hard to narrow down. I don't even want to count the number of nail polishes I bought in 2012. It's probably just like very very not normal. I just tried to think of my two favorite ones that I've worn multiple times and that I just when I saw them on my nails I was just like this color is amazing. So the first one is one that I got I don't know again beginning half of the year and it is by Deborah Lippman and this is Mermaid's Dream. It is the most beautiful like you have to look up google this right now if you don't know what it looks like google deborah Lippman mermaid dream or mermaid's dream it is so beautiful on the nails this color it's like an amazing mermaid color just like the name like an um aqua teal i don't even i'm not even gonna try to describe it it's just amazing and then it has this blue glitter in it and it's so beautiful. Deborah Lemon has the most amazing glitter polishes. I'm wearing one right now that I wore for New Year's Eve. Um, you can see this on my Instagram but they are so fabulous. So Deborah Lemon glitters 
are, oh my god, they're out of this world. They're very expensive, but in my opinion, they're worth it. And my other one is one that I got later in the year. I think I got this in either beginning of November or sometime in October, so I didn't have it much of the year, but when I put this on my nails, I knew this is like my new favorite nail polish. And I believe I talked to you guys about this in a favorites video. It is Essie's Beyond Cozy, and it is so beautiful um, again it's just this amazing like silvery gold that you would think you might need to do a few coats but you could honestly get away with one coat it's so beautiful on the nails I think this was limited edition from their holiday collection so I don't even know if you can get this anymore but try to find it online or something if you want it it is amazing and if they're not gonna make this permanent you should really think about picking this up and now for our last category which is top two hair products my first one is a hair brush I think I again have talked about this in a favorites video before it is called the wet brush yeah I definitely have talked about this before I got mine off of Amazon they come in a bunch of colors of course mine is pink what would you guys expect from me it's under ten dollars it is amazing Amazing. The reason it's called wet brush is because you it's designed so it can work on wet or dry hair because if you guys didn't know you're not supposed to brush your hair with an actual brush when it's wet you're supposed to comb it but my hair is so tingly that I physically can't do that I cannot comb my hair for the life of me so I have to use a brush and I was damaging my hair by using a regular brush but the wet brush is made for wet hair and it's amazing it gets out the tangles and it's just so I'm so glad I found this because if you have tingly hair seriously and you can't brush through your wet hair you need this another thing going along with that if you guys can tell this year I really tried to find like the best detangling products and I did I heard about this one from Miss Glamorazzi so Ingrid if you're watching this thank you this is my lifesaver in addition to my wet brush so this is the not your mother's naughty to nice conditioning detangler this is the best detangler I have ever found it is amazing I have probably gone through five to ten detanglers this year and just gone through them and not liked them that much because I'm telling you guys I have the tangliest hair in the world this is the best detangler ever seriously once again if you have tangly hair I'm sorry if you don't but if you do you have to get this it's not expensive at all I think it's under five dollars I got mine at Ulta and it is so so great so I just use this I spray it in my hair and then I let it um like soak in for like a minute or two and then I brush it out and it's like 40,000 times easier than it was before I had my wet brush and this product so I'm so thankful that I found these two products this year they are the best in my opinion now we have come to the end of the tag I really hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and like it down below if you liked this video I really think you guys should check out these products before I go I did want to announce one thing and that is that my friend Morgan switched YouTube channels so if you guys used to be subscribed to Morgan her username was Miss Beauty Forever XO and she still has that channel but she had to make a new channel she explained in a video why she switched over over channels but um, basically her new channel is Miss Morgan Michelle XO if you weren't subscribed to her before um, you should definitely go check her out she's one of my best friends on YouTube like Emily she is amazing such a sweet girl and I really really think you guys would enjoy her videos so either if you didn't know that she switched or if you just haven't you know heard of her or something I will have her new channel linked down below you guys should definitely go check it out and subscribe and tell her that I sent you it would mean the world because it is so hard I honestly wouldn't know but just seeing other people switch channels, it's so hard to gain back your viewers and subscribers because people just don't know that you switched. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would go over and subscribe to her and that would just mean a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. Happy New Year and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!